Hi guys, welcome back to another Relative Tuesdays. So today we are going to take a look at motion blur in static images. So this is the before shot and this is the after. And I'll explain a little bit about why and how to do this. So I'm a big fan of post-processing images because this process is non-destructive. What that means is, for example, if you add a motion blur or a camera blur in Keyshot to the image, you cannot uh, change this afterwards. So this is baked into the image and what you see is what you get. I have another video where I show how to create a camera depth of field effect. You can check it out somewhere here if you haven't already. And today we're actually taking advantage of the motion blur effect of Keyshot. So usually I would use um, Photoshop to do the post-processing, for example, blurring or uh, camera blur or anything like that. But this gets really tricky when it comes to 3D motion, right? So this is an example where the motion occurs in 3D space. For example, here we have a rotation and it's also tilted in 3D space. And we also have an overlapping with another part of the image, which is not moving. So we have the moving part behind a different another object. And this gets tricky if you want to recreate the actual movement in, uh, in Photoshop. So this is why I actually bake the movement and the motion blur into the image right out of Keyshot. So this is the final image and I think it gives a much more dynamic image and you can see the behavior of the object. So for example, this fan rotates and it shows its features in this one static image. So this can be a valuable addition to your workflow. Let's jump into Keyshot and see how it's done. So now we are in here in Keyshot with our setup. So I'm going to jump into performance mode to see more clearly what we're doing. Um, you can also just hit S on the keyboard or go to Lighting and um, Self Shadows, which is a shortcut S, to turn off the shadows. I want to see the uh, these blades more clearly. So now in Performance Mode, we click on this Animation icon, which opens up the Animation tag. And what we want to do is we just add an, a rotation animation to the fan blade. So go to the animation wizard and choose rotation here on the model and part animation. Click next, and then we are going to choose the blade. You can either click on it or we'll just search it in the model tree. So here on the fan, I will click the fan because this also includes this front part here. Hit next, and this adds the animation. It will always add an animation for about one second in length. And we can now go forward in time and see the result of the animation. So here we have clearly chosen the wrong axis. Just um, try out which one is the correct one. So I think in this case, it's uh, the C axis. And we want to rotate the blade um, more than 90 degrees, let's say 360 to increase the speed of the blades. We can also shorten the length of the animation to do the same thing. So we are animating a circular object currently, but if you have an object which is non-symmetric or has an irregular shape, you can actually go to the pivot point setting here. And under, under this first setting, you can pick and choose a pivot point, which can be a different um, part of the model. So for example, I can click here on this um, front panel and this creates the pivot point in the center of this object. So I'll cancel here, finish, and this creates our rotation. So now we can move um, anywhere in this timeline to set up a nice rotation here. And we want to click on this motion blur icon. So if we do that, Keyshot will actually calculate the animation which happens before and afterwards and will blur the part accordingly. So this is exactly what we want. We can now jump out of performance mode and uh, see the result and we can tweak the um, speed of the rotation. So if I increase the speed of the rotation, the part gets more blurred 
And if I decrease the speed of the animation, the blur will be less. So you can choose according to your scene. And that basically is all there is to it. So this is a quick and easy way to create motion blur in Keyshot. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe for more videos every week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.